फ्रेंड्स दिस इज फोर्थ टॉपिक फ्रॉम फिजिक्स सेक्शन वन एच एस सी बोर्ड ओके द टॉपिक इज थर्मोडायनामिक्स सो इन दिस टॉपिक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी आर्टिकल्स सच एज थर्मोडायनामिक इक्विलिब्रियम थर्मोडायनामिक स्टेट वेरिएबल्स इक्वेशन ऑफ स्टेट एंड वॉट आर पी व्ही डायग्राम्स वॉट इज वर्क डन ड्यूरिंग दी थर्मोडायनेमिक प्रोसेस ओके वी विल स्टार्ट विथ वॉट इज थर्मोडायनेमिक इक्विलिब्रियम ओके अ सिस्टीम इज सेड टू बी इन थर्मोडायनेमिक इक्विलिब्रियम इफ इट फॉलोज ऑल द थ्री इक्विलिब्रिया नेमली मेकेनिकल इक्विलिब्रियम केमिकल इक्विलिब्रियम एंड थर्मल इक्विलिब्रियम द सिस्टीम इज सेड टू बी इन थर्मोडायनेमिक इक्विलिब्रियम इफ इट फॉलोज ऑल द थ्री इक्विलिब्रिया we will see one by one the system is said to be in mechanical equilibrium if there is no unbalanced force within the system or between the system and its surrounding suppose we consider a cylinder in gas enclosed in in a cylinder suppose it is fitted with piston which is movable okay so if this is system there are no unbalanced forces within the system so this we know that this is surrounding there is there are no forces no unbalanced forces within the system or between the system and the surrounding then the system is said to be in mechanical equilibrium in mechanical equilibrium pressure is same throughout the system the system is said to be in mechanical equilibrium the system is said to be in chemical equilibrium if there are no any chemical reactions occurring within the system there is no transfer of matter from one part to other part of a system chemical composition is same throughout the system the system is said to be in chemical equilibrium next one is thermal equilibrium the system is said to be in thermal equilibrium if temperature of a system is same throughout there is no change in temperature with time okay so the system is said to be in thermal equilibrium the system is said to be in thermodynamic equilibrium if it follows all the three equilibria next article is thermodynamic state variables every system which is in equilibrium this system can be described by using some values some properties such as pressure p volume v temperature t mass m these variables describe the equilibrium state of a system so these are known as thermodynamic state variables okay at equilibrium these variables describe the state of a thermodynamic system these are known as state variables now equation of state mathematical relation between thermodynamic state variables and equilibrium is known as equation of state suppose we consider ideal gas equation then the relation between these variables is pv is equal to nrt so this is equation of state for ideal gas okay so we see that we here see that p v and t are the variables n is number of moles r is universal gas constant so here we can study the uh, variation by you by with the change of p and v v p and t or v and t if we consider the change in pressure and volume then the graphical representation will be like this pressure 
is along vertical axis and volume is along horizontal axis. Now, if say capital A is initial state at which coordinates are V1 and P1. See here, this is coordinate V1 along Y axis. It is coordinate P1. Now, the final state is say B whose coordinates are V2 and P2. See here, coordinate, volume coordinate is V2 here and pressure coordinate is P2 here. The graphical representation of this thermodynamic change is like this. So, this is known as PV diagram. Okay. So, this PV diagram represents the equation of state, change of state from A to B. We know that graphical representation of equation of state. It is also known as PV diagram. Okay. So, area under PV diagram represents the work done. We know the equation work done is equal to integral dW is equal to integral PdV. So, the area under this PV diagram represents the work done. This we are going to see. Now, consider a gas enclosed in a cylinder. So, the cylinder is having massless, frictionless, movable piston. Suppose the gas, uh, the, this piston is moved outwards. This piston is displaced outwards. Okay. The gas will expand. Expansion will take place. That means volume increases. Volume increases and pressure decreases. The change is from 1 to 2. State 1 to state 2. Pi is initial pressure. Pf is final pressure. Vi is initial volume. Vf is final volume. Okay. So, the state is changed from state 1 to state 2. So, the area under the curve represents the work run. Now, here work is done by the gas. Okay. So, during this expansion work is done by the gas. This work done is positive work done. And here change in pressure is taking place. Pressure decreases. That means this is positive work with varying pressure. Okay. Secondly, if the piston is moved inwards, piston is pushed inwards, that means volume decreases, pressure increases. Piston is moved inwards, that means volume is decreases and pressure increases. Initial state is state 1 and final is state 2. Okay, volume decreases and pressure increases. So, here work done is on the gas. So, this work done is negative work. So, here pressure is also changing. Pressure is decreasing. Okay, that means here is negative work with varying pressure work done that is integral PDV is less than 0. Okay. Next is if the change is carried out at constant pressure. Change in volume is carried out at constant pressure. The pressure coordinate is constant here in the diagram. So here positive work is done. So at this is here pressure is not changing that means at constant pressure. Positive work done at constant pressure. So, area under the curve, area under this PV diagram represents the positive work done. We have seen that area under PV diagram represents work done during thermodynamic process. Now, we are going to see that the work done during thermodynamic process does not depend only on initial and final state but it also depends on the intermediate states also that means path along which the change has taken place the work done depends on these also now we are 
going to see the how this is true okay so here p p pressure p is along vertical axis volume v is along horizontal axis in this diagram all the three changes are shown from a to b the change may take place along the path 1 the change may take place like this the change may take place from a to c and then to b this is second path and third one is a to d and d to b from by going moving from a to b the intermediate stage has also taken okay we will see one by one we know that area under p vlick diagram represents the work done if the state is changing from a to b here pressure is also decreased and volume is increased that means pressure as well as volume is a both are also changing so area under this pv diagram represents the work done okay secondly if the change is taking place in path 2 so that means from a to c and then to b a to c and then to b a is initial stage b is final state okay so initially pressure is constant and volume is increasing volume is increasing at constant pressure and then here pressure is changing pressure is changing but here volume coordinate is constant here so i can say that initially volume changes at constant pressure and then pressure changes at constant volume so this is also pv diagram and area under this pv diagram represents the work done okay so this area under pv diagram represents the work done so this is second path now third path that is from a to d and then to b in a is initial state b is final state so initially from a to d see here volume is constant volume coordinate is constant here okay pressure is changing at constant volume pressure is changing at constant volume and then volume is changing volume is changing pressure is constant this pressure coordinate is constant but volume coordinate is changing so change in state from a state to b state is there initially volume is constant pressure is changing then pressure is constant volume is changing so this is also pv diagram work done during the process is represented by area under the curve so if we observe all the three cases path 1 path 2 and path 3 we observe that area under the curve is different that means work done during pro thermodynamic process does not depend only on initial and final state but it also depends on the intermediate states that means the path along which change has taken place